Hi, it is Marie and I'm back again today with another video and I'm also back home for spring break. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't upload anything last week. I was busy last Friday uh, and I'm back again today uh, with a list of 10 things, uh, 10 common things that people expect you to do, common tasks that I struggle with, that I have trouble with because I have cerebral palsy. Um, this is a list, uh, though it has no particular order, uh, it's just whatever I could think of, nothing is greater than anything below, um, though it is also a list um, that has a lot of things on it that are affected because of my fine motor skills. That's not to say that everything on this list is affected by my fine motor skills. Um, so number one on my list is stapling. Um, I find it really difficult to staple. Um, I can straighten out the papers just fine. However, when I when I kind of hold them up after stapling things, I have um, trouble keeping them in order. Um, and so it, they they all just kind of fall and kind of. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it, kind of fan out in a way. Um, and then I never staple holding the stapler up. I can't staple that way. I have to lay it on the table, on the desk, on the flat surface. Um, but that being said, I have trouble um, putting the staple in the right spot. Um, most of the time I staple too low, some of the time I staple too high. And so I think that gives people trouble when they read my stuff. Uh, but, you know, I, if I have to staple stuff, I have to staple stuff. Um, and number two on my list is getting past the, the child-proof features on, say, a lighter. I can't use a lighter, um, because I can't get past, uh, the child-proofness of it all. And, and, and so that, that does kind of suck, but I understand why there has to be that feature, uh, it's important. I can, however, open up a bottle of Listerine. I can get past that on 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 the the cap. However, it takes me a long, long time to open a bottle of Listerine, um, and I never have been able to open it on the first try. Um, <laughs> third thing on my list is folding. I'm really bad at folding. I can never. Uh, line up the edges, they're never even, and so whether that be folding a piece of paper, folding clothes, um, folding a towel, I, I just, it's terrible, it, it never comes out looking nice. Um, but I think with cerebral palsy you have to kind of realize, at least I realized for myself, that I can't expect perfection all the time. Uh, the fourth thing on my list is Twist tying or untwist tying a loaf of bread. I hate twist ties. Anything on groceries, on bread, I can never. Uh, I, I I can never tie it. I can never. Well, I can untie it, but but that that's easier for me than having to twist tie it. But it, it just turns into this big debacle. Uh, what I usually do is I just kind of pull it out like I'm pulling out a knot of something and people get really mad at me because they're like you're not doing it correctly you're gonna ruin it but I'm like I just want the piece of bread I just want whatever's in the bag um, the fifth thing on my list is typing as I've said multiple times before I have trouble typing uh, I can type it's not in the uh, traditional sense of two hand typing um, I was taught, I, well, I was taught two hand at the beginning, um, but then people in special education switched me over to learning how to type with one hand, which for me, I, I, uh, I mark as my downfall. Um, it, it just kind of, I mean, in some respects I can do it, but it kind of does slow me down and I, I wish they would have just let me try and uh, practice two hand typing because I think that's a lot 
that goes a lot faster when you learn how to do it. Um, the sixth thing on my list is cutting with scissors. I can't cut with scissors and make things look nice. Uh, the edges are usually jaded, uh, words are cut off. Um, and growing up in elementary school, I hated using scissors. I really did. Um, underneath that, in the same respects, number seven, uh, ripping out a piece of notebook paper or something that has a perforated edge. So, for instance, with a notebook paper, I can rip it out just fine and it'll have the little frillies. But if I want the little frillies off, I can never rip off. Uh, from the perforated edge. This goes with checks too. I used to have a terrible time ripping out checks out of my checkbook because I hated the perforated edge. Uh, number eight, uh, walking downstairs. I can walk upstairs perfectly fine. I can run upstairs. It's just walking downstairs that is difficult. So a normal person uh, without <laughs> cerebral palsy uh, would would walk down the stairs. Uh, they would put one foot on one one stair and then their next foot on the preceding stair. I, however, cannot do this. Or I guess I I, I can if I if I try, but it just takes a lot of p brain power and manual uh, kind of like come on let's let's go. Um, so what I do is for every step. I have to take two steps. So if I put my left foot, if I put my right foot down on the stair, my left foot has to follow it and go to that same exact stair. Uh, so it's more of a two step than a one step. Um, okay, number nine, uh, carrying a bowl or a cup full of liquid. Uh, what always happens to me is stuff gets spilled. And so I never fill anything up to the top anymore. I, 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 I tell people to stop um, before it reaches the top um, because I really, I, I can't carry it without spilling. And even if it's not completely full, sometimes I still spill. Um, and you know, that's bad, especially when it's hot, like if it's tea or soup. Um, number 10, the last one, Putting on socks. Uh, whenever I put on socks, they always they always turn out crooked. Uh, the only way I can get it looking straight and proper and neat is when I sit down on the floor and put on socks. Other than that, they always get turn out crooked and they always bunch in my shoes and it's just a real pain having to walk around. And having said that, I hate wearing socks. Um, but yes, that is all on my list, and I guess the moral of this list, the moral of this video is um, that I never expect perfection. Um, I, I consider myself a perfectionist, so it really sucks, um, but you know, there's always going to be some something that doesn't turn out right, and honestly, most things don't turn out right for me, even though I want them to. I always have like this, this uh, adverse image in my head and it never turns out to be like that um, but you know I, I it's whatever um, and so that is all I have for the day I will say goodbye and I will see you in my next video if you have any comments questions suggestions or concerns want to comment on anything in this list go ahead and comment down below goodbye